Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Santa support here in season 12. She's in a really good spot. Her Q got buffed to where it is a slow now, a massive 21% scaling soul that lasts for two seconds, even at level one. Huge, huge, huge. So on Senna, she's a massive lane bully. You're oftentimes gonna be shoving down waves because every time you auto it puts your Q on a shorter cooldown. Your Q also applies all on hit effects, whether it be Grasp, Fleet, Sheens, Divine Sunders, even Borks, that type of stuff. Sounded pretty strong. We'll try to do something here. Your W's an AoE snare, your E's invisi AoE invisibility for you and your teammates, and a speed up. I queued through the ward. You can queue through anything. Turrets, minions, monsters, champions, your allies, everything. It extends its range substantially. And if you hit an enemy twice, you get a you get a mist out of them it's called absolution is your passive but hitting enemy champions twice you get absolution and minions and monsters when they die near you will randomly drop these as well i'm gonna get down a defensive ward highly defensive ward because i think they might have started on our red buff so we need to know whether or not lisa is gonna cheese that's the only reason why i'm not touching the wave right now i don't want to giga shove it okay it looks like lisa might started on their blue we're going to go down for early aggressive autos, auto attack, Q auto. Now we'll follow the Jinx in since Rel's low. We know she can't turn to fight us. I canceled that last auto because I felt like I was going to end up taking a turret shot. The Rel and Jinx basically need to just play safe until they have level 2, level 3 so they can all in. Because level 1, Rel can't match our damage output or our positioning. Our fleet's up, so I want to look for an auto here. Auto attack, Q. We just got a mist out of her. Permit link increases your AD, your crit, and a life still. Senna is a scaling monster. We'll shoot this through and try to... Ooh, we got her. Nice. We took a turret shot for it, so probably not worth. Oh, well. Got a mist out of her. Echo's in their topside jungle. It's kind of weird. Oof, almost had it. I'm playing really far up on the, ooh, on the rail only because the, uh, only because Jinx was so low on health. Trying to exhaust her, couldn't quite reach it. Exhaust has slightly less range than our autos do. Or I guess slightly more, but I was just outside of range. Caitlyn going all in. I'm a little nervous to follow that up. Tried to slow Rel there with our Q, didn't quite pan out. That's decent though, we didn't die to the gank. As long as you're not dying to ganks, then you'll be fine. I was kind of forced by Elise since we'd already gotten there. Her laner's so low on health. You can also pick up your mist if uh, with your ability so if it's already on the ground and they're pushing you away from it you can hit it with your w or your q and that'll pick it up as well rel shouldn't have stayed she's really low on health just got the mist out of her there hit her with an auto then a q remember you only need two hits to pull mist out of champions you can only do it once per champion it's like once every per six seconds when you're a higher level it gets down to four seconds Slow with our Q, run her down for an auto attack. Didn't quite get in range. Oh boy, are we getting a lot of mist. Caitlyn looks like she might want to reset here. These plates are huge though. Being up two plates like this. Looking to recall so I don't mind just perma autoing the wave. And with our approach velocity, every time we slow them or CC them, we're moving faster into them. That's why it's been so easy for us to follow up after our cues. Apologies in advance. I need to blow my nose. <laughs> Coming back on your first recall, you're looking for Swifties or for Sheen. I think I'd rather get Sheen in normal boots plus a control ward. Swifties would have been really, really good for dodging their skill shots and the rail engage. I feel like we're far enough ahead to where we could poke them down very quickly. I don't know what Caitlyn's doing here. I thought she reset with me. 
I think we can poke them down really quickly to where we won't even need tier two boots because they'll be too low to fight back. Going back in the lane when they the opponents are on full HP, if they have like a Leona, Rel, Alistair, and all in, all in engage style support, you need to take your time and try to find good openings to poke. It's the easiest when you're level one because they don't, they don't have tools to really fight you unless it's a Blitzcrank with a hook, in which case you need to stand behind your minions and poke them. Got off the Q into auto attack. She hit me right back though. I gotta get a ward down. We might get ganked here. It's a high chance since Alicia just took dragon. I'll auto for my fleet when it's up. I'm missing a big chunk of health. And when Jinx goes in for this minion, we can shoot through our own minion. Get off the Q auto, and that's a missed. Don't get into the habit of only queuing through your the enemy minions. You can queue through your own. Gives you more options if you use both. Your Q heals your allies, your R shields your allies. So in a perfect world, your Qs are going through your allies and enemies, and so your R's hitting both with your Qs and your R's. These guys are playing so far back, they're not letting me get down any poke. I'm gonna look for the uh the blast cones, I want to take those out so at least can't get over. I need to get out of here. Relian Soul's coming. I already saw him rotating, otherwise, I would have turned and just chunked her. His roaming pressure is a little too heavy, though. I was looking for the blast cone just in case it was up, so at least couldn't pull anything on us. I have, I think I'm moving, I'm actually moving slower than she is. We were only catching up since she juked there for a second. Auto Q auto. That was some huge damage by Caitlyn. Could potentially freeze the wave from there. That's totally worth for us. She shouldn't be taking those trades because I have fleet and she doesn't. On top of that, she's giving me mist. It's just not worth it at all for her to do that. I think I, yeah, I just hit her there. I got my su support item gold stack. Every time we hit them, as long as we have a stack up. Ah, uh, I was just going to take a shot then in auto. She got too far away from me, though. She built up quite a bit of distance there. She's trying to do some cheesy nonsense. Should be fine as long as I don't miss my flash. All right, at least decide she's not gonna chase. Fine by me. Rel's looking to do some kind of thing here. We just, we already got our mist out of her though. She needs to pull back. I canceled that auto, wasn't feeling very safe on it. I can queue through the mist there on the ground. We queued through, hit the Jinx, and collected the mist in the same stroke. You can use, one, like I said, you can use your abilities to collect the mist. You don't have to auto attack them. You can get the two for one deal. Auto queue auto with my W. We should be able to get some plates out of this. Caitlyn really shouldn't back right now. They're super low. Even if we got ganked, we wouldn't die. Here comes Elise, I'm gonna use my E. Yeah, nice try guys. We're gonna get out our W. We exhausted the soul, Q through our allies and the enemies there. And we still have our R as well to do that. Nice, got with our W. I want that soul, give it to me. Beautiful. It was a really nice Shen R. I was definitely going to get out fine because I still had Flash. I don't think I would have even need to use it. That was a good Shen R. Caitlyn wasn't even there for that. She was randomly backed. when we had them super low. Very spicy. I have my R to shield him here if he needs it. 
Don't want to use it if it's not going to save him, though. That might have actually saved him. I'm going to have to flash that. We'll pop a biscuit as well. Oh, dear lord. Yeah, I'm dead. Dang. Just too much, too hot and heavy. Caitlyn was also in a really weird spot. I don't know how she even got over there. I don't know if she... Her flash is on cooldown. I guess she ran past the turret? That's weird. Some Caitlyn traps there might have been nice. Is what it is. We'll keep going for our Divine Sunder, Caulfield's Hammer, Ruby, and head back to lane. We'll pick up a Control Ward and a Oracles. Once you have your three free wards out of your support item, you should get Oracles or the uh, blue one. But you have to be level 9 for that. Farsight Alteration is decent as well. After Divine Sunder, you're going to want to look to get a Rapid Fire Cannon, then a Black Cleaver. If you want to play on Hit Center, that's fine. You'll go for Kraken into Rage Blade into cleaver usually I'll speed us up might be able to run these guys down if they don't respect us oh that was a weird move by her we land a triple Q my W actually missed there that sucks Echo's tearing them up. We're getting off non-stop autos. Thank you. I don't think we're going to be able to get the Jinx. We got a bunch of mist out of that. A bunch of Absolution stacks. Probably just look to reset here. Can't get our Divine Sunder yet, but I can get our Tier 2 Boots. I can go shove the wave real quick, try to finish that off. Try to pick that up. The biggest counters against Senna is Zillion's really, really hard. He has more CC than you. And um, he can basically have the same range as you with his bombs. Hook supports like Blitzcrank can also be an issue in the early game. Past the early game, it doesn't really matter. Because you way outscale them like ridiculously hard. So there, that's exactly what we need Caitlyn to come and do that last time, but it's fine she's here this time. Got her with a Q into auto. Since we have approach velocity, we can easily run her down for that last hit. Yeah, she panic flashed there. She definitely didn't need to. Damage output is decent. It's not that high though. Take a turret shot, that's all right. We'll heal up off our fleet. Looking for a play on the map if I need to R. Not seeing it though. Not seeing it anywhere. We are now getting 45 free AD, 60 range, and 30% crit chance. Not bad. We're also going to get first turret plus all of its plates. The plates fall off here in 4 seconds. 14 minute mark. There they go. thinking about R'ing there. That was, it's a good thing Shen R'd when he did because I was going to be late. Right, let's get that rapid fire. Ooh, we got the shield down on Vigar. Just wasn't enough. Elise is not even full item, but neither is Vigar. He's pretty squishy. The best thing we have going for us is the fact that all outranged their whole team. Other than Zillion. Things like Zerath and Ziggs can be really annoying for Senna because they just outrange you, really no matter how long the game lasts. That's a huge issue. Senna is kind of like playing a support Caitlyn. Caitlyn's the same exact way. Anything that outranges Caitlyn just makes her super irrelevant because neither one of, neither one of our champs are that mobile. So if out, something outranges us, we don't have the tools to really close distance and pu and punish like an echo with a dash would or a predator Vigar, but he took dark harvest so in this case Vigar's gonna have the same issue uh if they had like a zarath or ziggs go ahead and e here echo definitely should have followed us in i think go ahead max our w second j 
Jinx is being annoying. We hit her with a Q auto auto. She took so much damage from that. I like how Santa can heal herself with her Q. It's pretty funny. It doesn't even say that it heals her uh, when you read her Q. It says it just heals her allies, but it, it heals her as well, which is nice. Very useful. If So if you're in a 2v2, you're healing yourself, you're healing your ally, and if you hit both enemies with the same Q, there's really no way to lose that 2 versus 2. It's so much value from one ability. And it's slowing the enemies t on top of that. There's just way too much happening there. We'll try to weasel in. Oh, yeah, I was a little nervous there. It would have been nice if we actually got the kill. Look how much health we're getting back, though. Very juicy. I want to throw in Qs to heal here. There we go. Got a mist out of her as well. Speed them up. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Try to heal Caitlyn. She flashed though. Got him. Nice, nice. Yeah, you're exhausted, buddy. Very nice. Garen's hiding nearby. I don't think I don't think running him down is very safe. He could turn on us in one shot. He has massive CS right now. I'll queue for that. And we're back to full health. Set is a massive self-sustain machine. Playing Senna is really like a cross between playing Soraka and a Caitlyn at the same time. You always want to have a teammate in front of you since you can heal and shield them. And shoot through them with your Qs to extend its range. I mean, if you're ever the person up front tanking, you don't have many tools to keep yourself alive. You really, really don't. Go ahead and pick up our Swifties now. It's going to help us reposition and just stay out. Stay out of... Uh, a bad spot so we don't die if your teammates are inside your circle the enemies can't actually see how many of you there are if your teammates are far away like this then it will show their soul separately so if you're all traveling inside of sound you can surprise the enemies if they're not expecting everyone to be there they, they literally don't know a lot of people don't respect that Looked something bought here. Jinx doesn't have items and I'm really fed. I could probably kill Jinx and roll at the same time. My exhaust is up. Definitely see that. Boom, got the Q. Have them cut off. They have nowhere to go. We'll toss out W. I'm gonna run down the rail. She's pretty quick. When I'm on my uh, E, I'm faster. She tried to hop the wall. She barely missed. I'm gonna blow her back towards me. Actually flicked her over the wall. <coughs> It's kind of dumb. Echo really just flashed for that. Nice. All we need to do is stay alive now. Your bot lane's dead, so we want to look to ward up. We'll let Echo be our front line here, and we'll get a deep ward. Nice. Then we step up, they'll die here. I'll take that. We're now getting 58 free AD. That's balanced. Got our W out attack Q auto. Down she goes. We should have gotten a miss for uh, hitting her twice and then I think we picked up her soul at the end. So we got two missed for that. Nice. We're at 84 missed 20 minutes in. Jeez. This has been a real scrappy game. Super high. Super, super high. So Soul's putting the pressure on. I'll speed Echo out of here. Q 
through the Caitlyn, WR, so she gets the shield and we got down her snare. Beautiful. I queued the Caitlyn specifically that time. I did not want it to miss. That's a really good Shenar. Going to the bush to break vision so I don't die. Pop back into my E. Garen's looking to one shot me. He probably has flash. Auto attack W reset. That's a double Q. Also shielded my allies there. Hit both the enemies with it. So that, I should say that's a double slow and a shield. Not bad. If you're looking to climb on support consistently, Senna's probably the best champion for it. Senna and Vega are supporter too, the best. Senna's a lot more consistent since her early game can put down early pressure. Vegar supports mainly for his five versus five team fightings. Senna's all of the above, early game, mid game, and late game. Oh man, I'm gonna miss that. Dang. Picked them both up. And you get gold off of it, which is kind of funny. It seems a little bit overkill to get gold from it because it's already giving her so many stats. All right, got a rapid fire. We'll look to get a uh, black cleaver. The whole point of the black cleaver is to just make yourself tankier plus the 30 ability. It goes a long ways with her Q since her Q is a AOE slow and heal for your allies. Imagine if Soraka Q also healed her allies. It, it, Santa Q is just way too much. It also scales off of your maximum range, which is really high right now. Very, very high. Your Q is the same exact range as your autos, and our auto range right now is... Where does it say? 680. That's more range than a Caitlyn. Caitlyn's only 650. Oops, just wasted my W. Several of the enemies are dead. This is kind of safe to do. Got him. Down a deep ward. Oh, hey, Garen. Our W's up, so this is still kind of safe. Garen's gap closers aren't the best. They're not the fastest, I should say. I need, yeah, that's a good ward. That's what, exactly what I was going to go ward right there. I don't know what Jinx thinks she's doing. Gave Caitlyn the shield. Slow rel from a million miles away. I gotta go this way. That was a really good Shenar. I almost walked him in. Slowed Garen off the Shen body. Uh, the thing is, Garen has dead mans. He's gonna be really hard to catch. Otherwise, I would have kept chasing that. Rel tries to save her team. She's gonna die for it, and we're scaling off of her. Sucking her soul dry. Like the Grim Reaper. I'm not that familiar with the League of Legends lore, but with Sen's, Senna sucking people dry, you would think she'd be the villain, and I'm pretty sure she's not supposed to be. She literally like, eats their souls. Like, Karthus doesn't even do that. Got him with a raw Q. We can snare him off the minions if he's close enough. Because so remember, Senna W is an AoE snare. Nice, got the Q. Rapid Fire Cannon gives you bonus range for your next hit, and your Q applies off that as well. So it's kind of like a Lux Q right now, just boom. <laughs> Jinx just ate it. And we never run out of mana. Why? Because presence of mind is balanced. 3,000 mana. Give me that, give me that. Oh, I missed one, but I got the other one. Got him with the snare. Auto Q auto. Dude lost half his health there. Oof, soul's out of position. Oh, I'm out of position. I'm gonna die here if I don't get Sh Shenar. That was way too close. Got him. Holy crap, I was out of position. 
I got a little greedy. Oh, I think I thought she was trying to go back in there. Made me really nervous. Down she goes. Wish I had my R to kill Elise here. We are at. Uh, I don't know what our attack range is right now. How much does this give us? 150. So we're at 700 range. We're way more range than Caitlyn. Caitlyn's only 650 and we're 700 base range. No rapid fire. We'll keep going into the Black Cleaver. Such a strong champ, man. Support such a brain dead overpowered role compared to other roles that have to rotate and roam like mid lane, jungle, and top lane. Support's just way too strong. The support item gives way too much gold. It gives freaking four free wards. Bunch of useful stats for really not having to buy it in the first place only spending uh i think you start out the game with 500 gold yeah so you only have to spend 400 gold on it to begin with and it gives way more stats than a 400 gold item does not even including the words it's just the like obviously a mastery or something like that's going to out carry a santa but it's the ease and consistency of the carry that support can come from because support already get so much gold for free and their items are cheaper to where like consistency is just way too high man i'd say support's probably the easiest role to hit diamond with if you just want to hit d4 it's probably the easiest if you're willing to play things like senna just did half his health put myself in zero harm's way to do it because i have so much range The soul's acting like he's going to do something. Oh, the snipe. How much damage does my R do? Only 500? That, that won't kill soul from here. He speeds up when he starts moving in a straight line. Got him. He slowed straight into my R. <laughs> oh, man. I'll leave that thing there for Vigar so we can get the plus two. And I'm going to use my Q to heal myself. I don't think Senna Q should heal herself. That just seems like a bit much. I got to pull out here. Good thing our E lasts for 10 years. Six and a half seconds of movement speed. Scales a half a second per level. I mean, honestly, even six seconds of movement speed is really high for level one with how fast it makes you. I think Senna is the ultimate support, like newer support champion, like definition of power creep. She has an AoE long range, AoE long range slow damage move that also heals her allies. On a low cooldown, she has an AoE snare ranged. She has an AoE movement speed and invisibility for her team. And then she has another AoE uh, a shield slash damage long range. And it's global. It's just so much. She's got so much in her kit. She's such a good champion to main. Shan's doing some work. I got caught up on the Elise. She kept stunning me. I'm gonna have the shield Vigar there. W auto attack. Down you go, buddy. Your W and your Q are both really good to weave in with your auto attacks. Like auto Q auto. Oh! Ho <laughs> ho! Oh my goodness. This damage output's just so good. This champion really, 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 really needs a nerf. She needs it so bad. You guys should definitely abuse her before she does get nerfed because it's going to happen eventually. Just turn around, please. Got him. Nice. 
I guarantee you we've dealt the most damage this game on support. We might even have done the most healing as well because we've been landing some decent Qs. There's no one on our team that heals that much. Unless Shen got a Warmogs. Or if Caitlyn went triple life still or something. Caitlyn's not usually a huge life still champ though. She has so much range. That's usually her defense rather than actually having to itemize for life still. I'm out of wards. We can get Black Cleaver, then pick up Rage Blade. Even if you don't go for Kraken Slayer, Rage Blade's still a good item on Senna. Really maximizing your damage. The only time you go Kraken is if the enemy team have two massive tanks or more. So if they have like a Scion Ramus or like an Alistar. Well, like what else? Like an Alistar and another big tank. I can't even think of another one right now. Like Alistair Scion? He's the only tank I can think of at the moment. Or is it like a Zack Alistair or something like that? It's hard for me to think because so many tank junglers just don't feel tanky right now. Or a Cho'Gath. Like a Cho'Gath Scion on their team. Then you need to go crack it in a range blade for true damage shred. Otherwise, you don't have to. We're doing enough damage as is. I mean, heck, we have 312 attack damage. Pretty balanced, if I do say so myself. Now what the Rage Blade is going to be giving us is some on-hit bonus damage. It's going to be giving us nearly 200. It gives you more the more crit you have. And our passive is giving us 60% crit at the moment. We'll lead in with a Q. Then we'll use our W after she's slowed. Auto Q. I want these. Yes, please. I'll take that, and I'll take that. Now our passive is giving us a whopping 115.80, a bonus 140 range with 60% uh, crit and 3.5% life still. And all that crit, our Rage Blade is turning into bonus physical damage on hit. So our auto attacks on the cannon minion did like nearly a thousand damage, I believe what I saw with my eyes. Hey, Saul. Got something for you. Oh, I almost hit him with that. He can get pretty far away. Yeah, he's really, really far away. It's right there, though. He just needs the EQ. He needed the Q. Q has faster travel time than his E does, especially if he uh, were to like press it really fast right, right as he was start, starting to clear the wall. That's okay though. All we have to do is position, and we'll be fine. Just peachy. Throw out a W, watch our spacing. Nuked. Oh. <laughs> uh. I could have waited on that Q to try to hit Garen with the slow. That was a very defensive Q. That should be GG's though. They can't really leave base. We have so much range right now. We literally have 760 range, guys. 760, that's over 100 more range than Caitlyn has. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Senna Support Commentary Guide for Season 12. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at Damage Dealt Enemy Champions, we had a nice little lead there at 46,000. Next highest was 26,000. For Damage Taken, we were up there. We were close to the higher Damage Takens. Now, for Healing Done. Most healing done in the game at 18,000. Not bad. Let's take a look at runes. We healed for nearly 4,000. So 4,000 out of our 18,000 healing was just from fleet alone. Presence of mind gives us back 6,200 mana. Alacrity, we finished at 18 minute mark. Kind of took forever. The game was a slow start for us. Gudegras did nearly 1,200 damage. 
We had our biscuits and approach velocity sped us up for two full minutes. <laughs> Not bad. All in all, Senna, easily S-tier champion. Like, regardless of support, she's an S-tier champ right now. You should definitely play her before she gets nerfed.